Uh, we're here at the Internet and Politics Conference at Harvard University's Berkman Center for Internet and Society. And we're here speaking with Jeff Frazee. Jeff Frazee, what, uh, where are you from? Uh, I'm from Texas and uh, worked with the Ron Paul 2008 campaign. And how did you get involved with the campaign and what, what was your ca capacity with the campaign? Uh, I was uh, Congressman Paul's National Youth Coordinator and so uh, getting involved, I knew early on in the campaign that we could have a large youth following. Um, so we started utilizing Facebook and the various social media that was available to us for free to start connecting with students and find where the interest is and in organizing on, on college, college campuses. And um, once the campaign raised enough money and realized, wow, there is a large youth effort out there behind Congressman Paul, um, they invited me on board and of course I obviously accepted. And I accepted probably way too early. I probably should have negotiated a higher salary, but I was so excited to, to join the campaign that yes, it was something I was very happy to do. The, um, the line is that the uh, Barack Obama campaign and to some extent the Ron Paul campaign were very active on the internet, uh, but the McCain campaign not, not so much. It, do you feel that's accurate or, or what, what do you think? Yeah, I think it's very accurate. Uh, and I think the reason we were so effective on the internet um, is because of Dr. Paul's message. I think same with Obama. We had both had a message that energized our base. Um, and then we, we used technology to lower barriers to entry and to organize and mobilize. Um, where I think that we failed and where the Obama campaign succeeded was taking that one step further and then directing that action, that, that organized and networked um, uh, framework and, and, and directing that into, into specific action that trained our, trained our, um, our volunteers and organized them in a way that was you know, politically savvy and, and, and campaign savvy. Um, more so, we kind of took almost a free market approach and kind of let our people organize and do whatever the heck they wanted to do. Um, and that kind of backfired to some extent, m mainly because you know we didn't, they just didn't achieve, um, or didn't didn't put forth the um, political tactics that you usually expect in a campaign. And that was no fault of theirs, and more so a fault of the campaign for not training them and directing their action. Um, so, if you had to uh, distill a lesson from this campaign, what would you say the lesson about the use of the internet would be? Um, is the internet, uh, you know, 50% of the strategy, or is it? Is it? Uh, what role does it play? Well, it's great for communication. It's great for organization, um, and it's great for mobilization. But it doesn't function just in a vacuum. You have to direct that action, especially if you want to win a campaign. Campaigns don't change. You still need to get 51% of the vote. So in order to achieve that, how do you utilize technology to achieve that goal? Um, and so that's the real question, and how do you mobilize people to achieve that goal and, and train them in, in specific tactics to achieve that goal? So the goal doesn't change, but, but the technology allows it to become more effective, if that answers your question. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm curious what you think the role of the Internet should be outside of the, the campaign itself. Is there a role for the Internet in, in uh, politics? Is it, is it a big role? Is it a small role? What is it? Right. Yeah, no, I, I totally agree. It's, it's an issue we're facing now, and I think the issue the uh, Obama campaign's facing now is that you've had this election that's now over and this large movement, an energetic movement behind you that's energized to do something. And it's now, well, what is that something going to be? And obviously it can't be a, a, a campaign. You know, do you, they mentioned earlier in the conference about getting behind Obama's legislative agenda. All right, well, that's a goal that you can seek to achieve. And for us, you know, what is the Ron Paul's goal? What is going to be, what, what are we going to achieve um, outside of this campaign? And I think we're going to hopefully um, be able to identify and train um, upcoming future Ron Paul Republicans. And so we can have, you know, Dr. Paul not be the only member of Congress voting no all the time, but maybe four or five, 10, 15, and maybe, you know, a couple years down the road, we can actually have a large influence in the Congress. So that's really now is where is this directed, where is this directed movement, or where does this movement now need to be directed? Um, and that's where you guys sort out with the Obama campaign and with ourselves is what goals do we seek to achieve? What's our purpose now? Sounds almost like a, a post-party uh, movement. Right, right. Yeah, exactly. It, it, well, it, it depends. I, I think the, the, the two traditional parties, that, um, that, that, that system is not going to change anytime soon, and that you do have to utilize one of the two. Um, so our, we'll do our best to kind of inject as many liberty-loving candidates into both systems and, and see, how that, see how that goes you know, over the next couple of years. Well, I wish you luck, and uh, we'll be excited to learn from your lessons and uh, what uh, we see coming out of uh, the Ron Paul campaign. And uh, thank you from uh, the Internet and Politics Conference at the Berkman Center for Internet Society. This is Dan Jones.